Hi, it's Mark, your Madison Cork Dork. Yesterday, I started my six-part series on the Red Bordeaux Blend by refreshing your memory on Carmenier and Cabernet Franc. For part two of my six-part series, I'll be going over a pretty popular grape, Malbec. So why am I doing these videos? Well, the majority of you have probably heard of some of the following varietals, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Riesling, and Moscato. I, however, would like to introduce you to some grapes that you've probably never heard of. So at the beginning of each video, I will remind you of a few things. First and foremost, anyone can learn how to smell and taste wine. Your sensations of taste and smell are determined by the chemicals that are in food and drink. When we say we're smelling pineapple or we're tasting cream, we're not making this up. With time, you can train yourself to seek out individual smells and tastes. Just swirl your wine glass, close your eyes, and think about what you're smelling or tasting. This will help you appreciate and analyze wine. I'll keep bringing up several terms that I will define at the beginning of each video. Body is the mouthfeel you have when you taste wine. It's analogous to milk. If it feels like whole milk, that's full-bodied. If it's like skim milk, it's light-bodied. If it's 2%, it's medium-bodied. Tannin is the astringency you feel in your mouth that some wines have. It makes your tongue feel like it's sticking to your teeth or to the roof of your mouth. Acidity is how watery your mouth feels after swallowing. The more watery, the higher the acidity. Okay, so on to the grape. Malbec, more popularly pronounced as Malbec, is one of those grapes that was originally hard to justify whether to make a video out of or not. On the one hand, it's a pretty popular grape. On the other hand, it's just obscure enough of a varietal to warrant a video on it. Plus, now that I'm going over the Red Bordeaux blend, all grapes need to be reviewed and all grapes are on the table. Malbec is one of the six noble grapes allowed to be a part of the Red Bordeaux blend. Outside Bordeaux, Malbec is also popular in the Cahors region of southwest France. There it is called Cote spell C-O-T. If you pick up a bottle of Keor's red wine, you can be certain that at least 70% of the wine is Malbec. And speaking of France, a gentle reminder of the Bordeaux region. We have our map of France here. This, of course, being Bordeaux, this little purple part. And then a closer examination of the Bordeaux region itself. We have the left bank, the right bank, and various other regions of Bordeaux. However, the main country associated with Malbec is Argentina. If a customer asks me if I have any Malbec at a World Market, I immediately take them to the Argentine section. In fact, Retail stores with a large wine section will most likely have a specific Argentine wine section due to the popularity of Malbec. You will hardly see any other Latin American country with a separate region. Malbec came to Argentina under the order of mid-19th century provincial governor Domingo Faustino Sarmiento. He instructed French agronomist Michel Pouguet to bring Malbec vines from France to Argentina. Malbec really hit its stride in the 1990s when Argentine winemakers focused on making it their premium varietal. Like most wines, it has its ebbs and flows in popularity. Being in the industry myself, I've noticed that it's slowly gaining momentum again. So what makes Malbec more of a success in Argentina than France? The grape is much more successful in higher altitudes, and Argentina's Andes Mountains provides that setting. Malbec is very prone to succumbing to frost, which is more common in the Bordeaux region. Argentina, on the other hand, doesn't have to worry about that. 
Of course, there are other issues that impact Malbec's yield, such as color, which prevents grapes from growing altogether, downy mildew, and rot. So what can you expect from Malbec? Well, it's a full-bodied red wine. It can range from very dry to dry. It has a medium level of tannin. The Malbec also has a medium level of acidity and has a medium high level of alcohol. Malbec is meant to be drunk in a red wine glass, should you have one. It is meant to be served between 60 to 68 degrees, which is also known as room temperature. Should you have the patience, Malbec can be stored anywhere from 5 to 10 years. You can spend around $15 for a good bottle of Malbec, which is pretty affordable. So what are some of the smells and tastes you can expect from Malbec? Blackberry, red plum, vanilla, sweet tobacco, and cocoa. Pair it with leaner red meats or blue cheese for a fantastic experience. Anyways, if you're a fan of Syrah or Merlot, give Malbec a try. This is Mark, your Madison Cork Dork. Join me tomorrow for part three of my six-part series when I will be going over the Petite Verdot grape. Thanks for watching.